Hi, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. As always, the guys aren't going to know what they're drinking. They're going to tell you what they think of the whatever I pour. And um, how much they would pay to have that whiskey in their cabinet or wherever without the hype of the label. So if you like what you see, um, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. If you uh, don't like what you see, uh, feel free to leave a comment and tell us how much we suck. If you love us and uh, you're like, hey, how else can I help? Go ahead and stop by our Patreon page. Um, we put out new content. We put out uh, some behind the scenes stuff. We also, uh, hey, you could get uh, the spreadsheet that shows you what bottles we've had on the show and uh, what the price difference and all the fun stuff there. We really appreciate all the support and all the help you guys give us. So uh, so tonight's bottle comes from Troy Duncan, and we really appreciate uh, your call-in. Troy Duncan, sorry it took so long, but here is your bottle. We're going to pop it and uh, get this pour going, and then I'll go get the guys, and uh, we'll see what they think of it. What's up guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Jay. We taste whiskey. We drink it. We tell you what we think about it without that hype of the label. And how much we'd be willing to pay for that bottle. How much? In the bottle. On the shelf. Wait, we're not going to tell you what we would pay for it out of the bottle. No. No. It's in no, the no. bottle. Definitely. In the bottle, how much we would pay for it? How much? <laughs> Cheers guys. Let's get into this whiskey. So what do we have? Very light. It is super light it's on the kind color. Of, kind of a uh, very golden honey, mm -hmm. light, light, light. Very light. Almost no ethanol burn. I don't get a lot of the cereal or grainy flavor, so I don't think it's light or young, I should say. I think it's just probably watered down, maybe. I could be wrong, just on the nose, but there's almost no ethanol burn. There's almost no... I'm having trouble picking up anything. I was going to say, yeah, there's almost no anything in there. It's... Maybe a hint of lime? A little bit of sweetness. Maybe minty? Some of that uh, caramel and vanilla, but just just light. Yeah, I'm not getting I mean, I'm that. all over this class, and I'm just... I don't get any vanilla whatsoever. It's... I'm not picking up hardly anything. Oh well, cheers. Let's see what. Yeah. See what the flavor is like. Get it in the mouth. Mm. There's some ethanol burn, fairly thin on the palate, but there's almost nothing there. I do pick up vanilla, maybe a hint of caramel. It's pushing it, but it's got kind of a nutty finish. I can see that, like a walnut or like a yeah almond. Mm -hmm. I got an almond on the back. It's gonna go more a little more pecan, but yeah, I can see that. But I'm gonna go in again just to see. It's just not a lot of punch to it. It's very light and very. It is. There's nothing off-putting. No, it seems fresh, refreshing. It doesn't smell like a garbage pan puked all over the table. So that's a plus, right? <laughs> That was great, right, when I took a swallow there. You're welcome. Appreciate that. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm just not... I, there's, I there's almost nothing there. I don't I mean, get much. Yeah, there's... It, it? it starts off maybe with a hint of citrus, that, that lime, lemon thing in the front, and then kind of has a quick finish with... I want to say it's kind of a nutty finish, just a light nutty finish, like an almond. A little bit of that citrus. There's that nutty. No oak. And very little smoke. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna add some water to this. Just see what see what's going on. But yeah, I'm not getting. There was, there was a lot of water. It was a lot of water. <laughs> you don't like this? Don't judge me. I didn't say I didn't like it. There's oh, just not a lot right. going on in there. All right. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing off-putting about it. 
I don't dislike one, it. Two. A one. A two. two a three. A three. three. Alright, guys, we let that sit for a minute. Let's see what's getting in here. So the water to me pushed it firmly into the the floral range. So I'm picking up rose. I get rose petals now. I could I could totally see that. So I don't know if that's considered opening it up. A little bit of that more sweetness, I guess. Maybe. Like, it's just I mean, we are struggling to pick up any kind of depth here. For real. Like there is not mm. Tamped down the what little heat was there. Maybe pushed it even more into the citrus range. And now the finish mm -hmm. seems to be more candy. More orangey candy. Yeah. Yep. Like all candied orange peel. I actually like that better with the water. I like the nose better without the water, but the taste better with it. I agree with if that. that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man, I, I really wish we could get more for you guys in here, but I mean... I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Like, there's just not. It's just a really light, seemingly young. I'm going to say it's really young. I don't know about super young. I mean, I'm or not blended. getting a lot of the, the, it could definitely be blended. Um, but there's not that, like, corny, grainy flavor of the super young. I don't know. Man, the, maybe now that you mention that, I'm nosing in some corn there. <laughs> Cream corn. No, I'm saying like I get I get a little bit of cream corn in there, so I I'm I'm at no more than I want to say thirty to forty bucks, but I think forty's pushing it thirty thirty five maybe. What do you think? Tell me I'm wrong, please, please, because I'm. I'm struggling here. I want to really say you might be overstating it. I'm, 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 I'm going to go with like maybe 25. It just seems yeah. like a mixer to me. This is probably something you can get anywhere. and I really hope so. <laughs> this is going to be like some super limited. And I want to I want to say it's like <laughs> something blended and you know it's easy to acquire. <sighs> you probably don't drink it straight. I mean, I, not, oh. not that I would ever do this, but if you were sitting down watching a movie or something, you know, you could pour a glass up to like here and just not yeah. think about it. Yeah. And yeah. No, I get it. Like I'm guessing 80 proof ish, maybe 85, no more than 90. If this yeah. is more than 90 proof, then it's really hiding it. It's way. not. It's really hiding it. I don't think it is, but. I'm just saying. Just not a lot there. So, Jay says twenty-five bucks. I'm at thirty. No more than thirty-five. All right. Should we see what this is? I think so. Let's see what we got. It's not off-putting. So, I mean, it's it's definitely got that for it. Got a nice tall bottle. Mm. Ah. Bird dog, 10 year. There you go. So I have only had this once before, um, which is probably why it's still really full. Somebody requested it, and uh, I picked it up for the show and had a small pour. That was a few months ago. Didn't mu think much about it since then. Uh, and how? what is the proof on this? It is 10 years old. So, I was right. It's not super young. Very 90 but, proof. Okay. 90 proof. Which is a little surprising. I would think it was a little less than that. So, well, that's about right. I the, think that's about right for what we were tasting. The age could have very well hid a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Like, I said 80, 85-ish. So, you know, that's a good thing. It's. I think 90 is an acceptable proof for a bourbon. I wouldn't go much... Much lower than that, generally speaking. The Evan Williams single barrel is good. So this is bottled for Western Spirits by Three Sons Bottling Company in Bowling Green, Kentucky. In other words, this isn't their product. Right. Bird Dog has not been around for 10 years. You guys know that. Jay, any thoughts? You know, I, I don't know much about Bird Dog. I know 
not too long ago, I picked up a uh, a Sam Houston. Yes, yes, you did. Which is out of the same company. So. Oh really? Yeah, Sam Houston is the same company as Bird Dog. Have you popped it open yet? I have not. Um, haven't heard great things about it, but um, this is not bad. I mean, this is... No, like I said, there was nothing off, but... I, I think it. what you said, you know, if you were to pour a tall pour and just, you know, sit back and enjoy that, that would be great. There's just not a lot there, you know. You wouldn't have to think about it. You're watching a movie that you really like or something like that. I mean, you know what I mean? If I were to... I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go back and pick one of these up myself. This is probably a one and done for me. It's just... <laughs> There's not a lot there. I will say I have a hard time, once I have something on my shelf, I have a hard time not replacing it. Right. That being said, though, like, I don't see me going back to this very often. Yeah. There was nothing bad about it. No. But, anyway. What's the retail on it? Uh, retail on here is, I think, around 40 bucks ish Oh, maybe wow. Maybe 45 so, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry, but... <laughs> You know, it's not it's it's not terrible. No, no. no like you said, there was nothing off-putting about it. Should we bring Erin in here? Yes, we should. Should we summon her? Can we? We should. Do we do? No, that? fail. Oh man, <laughs> that was no not cool. She wrecked it. You would try to summon me, it will not work. So, uh, with that being said, you have a hard time replacing bottles that have already been in your thing. You have to replace them, right? It is a pretty label. It is. It is a pretty label. My brain instantly went to, so we're replacing this, chicken cock, huh? You want well, to drink that? No. no. This is not that. No. no I would drink this. <laughs> if you were to put this in a glass and say, hey, you can have this, I would I would take that. If you were to put chicken cock in a glass and say, here's chicken cock again, I would say, hard pass. <laughs> All right. Thanks. The minute I heard that you were replacing bottles, you know, once so, it's on the shelf, I, I couldn't bring it up. But I'm curious because you were saying it's really super light. It is. I I don't taste them beforehand. When I pull them off the shelf, it's what you guys see. So uh, it smells good. Like you said, there's nothing off-putting about it. No. There's just not a lot there, which is weird because, I mean, it is 10 years old. So once you're drunk, this is what you want to drink. Hey. This is a perfect drink to keep you going. Yeah. Now, mind you, it's a little high in proof for, like, your Bud Light. What I like to do is after I've got a healthy buzz, I switch to what I call ALS. Um, that's your American light shit because it tastes like crap to drink straight. But you know what? Once you're drunk, it keeps your buzz going. And it's got just enough H2O in it that you don't get sick. This would be my bourbon I would go to after I am completely trashed and you don't want beer. It is light. It is refreshing. It would good it on a hot refreshing. summer day. You're at the pool and you're like, dude, I really don't bourbon want... at the pool. Yeah, That's, this would be I great. Need a, I need I've really... had bourbon at the beach before. Have you? I yes, have. <laughs> I've done that. I took a bottle to the beach. I am been there, done that. I'm restricted. I need to do that. Sue me. <laughs> but this is this is the bottle you want on a hot summer day. I mean, because you can you can take a nice swallow of it and it's. Mm-hmm. You know what's interesting it's is I, burn. I have not seen this. Well, that's good. I've, I've not seen this particular bottle anywhere. Where'd yep. you get this? My local liquor store, right around the corner, Bills in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Do you want to thank our patrons and subscribers? I have. I do. You're the one. Right that now, it. hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I don't know what side it's on. It's on one of these sides. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Um, again. I'll say it again. If you don't like what we're putting out, hit that like and subscribe button anyway. Do it. Comments welcome. Yep. Yeah, you guys want to make fun of us in the comment section? We're okay with that. We thrive on it. <laughs> we live off of it. Trolls welcome. Trolls are welcome here. Right. Have some yourself a pour of a bird dog and a troll away. Hey, hey uh, for real though, we love you guys. <laughs> uh, patrons definitely love you guys. Yes. Buying us coffee to keep us going. Bottles on the show. Um, glassware, whatever the case may be. Super appreciate you guys. Until next week, Friday, noon central, drink blind. And blindly drink. Cheers. Cheers.